So we got the main body. I'm going to cut the eye in right now. Yeah, we're going to need some cuts here and here. So I'm going to just start with this this eye right here. One cool trick that I like in Blender, first of all, I'm going to kind of build this topology out around the eye. And then just take and delete that middle vertice. Now we have an eye hole. It's not too bad, uh, except uh, it's not really circle. You might want to add another uh, set of polys here, uh, another loop cut there. But here we go. Um, this is where I like to use an add-on usually. Uh, there's a great add-on by Bart Crouch. Go file, user preferences, add-ons, and search for loop, for loop tools. Turn that on. And this shows you a bunch of new mesh tools over here called loop tools. By the way, if you just mouse over any of these and hit A, it will uh, auto um, inflate it or decrease it depending on uh, just where you're mousing over. That's sometimes a lot faster than going and actually clicking on the little, uh, I guess you can click anywhere on the header, but it's still much faster because you can just, you know, say open, open, close, close. Anyway, uh, this loop tools, uh, here's circle, and I use this guy all the time, so that'll just not work for me, of course, on the video tutorial because this is it's such an awesome tool when it works um, let's add another object a separate object let's try this again now without the mirror vertices hit circle yeah it's the mirror modifier is messing with that so anyway um, that's a great tool it's an aside we're not going to use it right now but uh, you should know it's there because it is so helpful in so many situations. But let's get back to our fish. Um, looks like we might need, I'm just gonna eyeball this. <laughs> Pun intended, I guess. And then Alt, left select to select that whole guy and hit extrude. And then I'm gonna hit escape. To, so now I just have two sets of vertices around this, but then I'm just going to hit scale and that scale that in. So I'll have kind of this this lip, and I'm going to kind of get that as close as I can there. Pull, oops, pull these verts. Oh, I keep on getting. Oh, I have the verts and edges. I just want the just verts. So, kind of pull these in as close as I can to that eyeball. That's about right. Now, I'm going to uh, extrude this in towards the center. So, just line your screen up so it's kind of flat there and then hit E to extrude and extrude that just a little bit into the mesh now we can actually scale that down it'll give us a little bit of a lip there and now I'm going to snap my cursor right to the center there of this object of the, my selection so shift S and then cursor to selected and it'll go right there the 3D cursor will land right in the middle. I'm going to exit out of that mode and then Shift A, and I'm going to add a, um, a UV sphere. Hit F6 to change the statistics on your UV sphere, or once again, you could just change it over here. Um, and I'm going to drop these down to maybe. Eight segments and maybe 12 rings. I could probably
probably even go less than that. Eight and eight looks okay. Now what I want is I'm just gonna grab half that guy, hit Z, and then you grab half this and delete them. So now we just have kind of our half sphere there. If I want to just look at the sphere alone, I could go and hide all the other objects, but you can also just use local mode, and that's the uh, slash key on your numpad. So that'll show just the, the sphere. Hit slash again to go back out into the, the, the other mode. I'm going to scale that down to about the size of the eyeball that I want, and right there. I'm going to just move that in, shift G, X, and rotate that into place. And I'm probably going to want to move this kind of embedded into the, the fish there. Looks like I scaled it down a little too much. Well, there we go. Now you might see there's a problem here. Um, if I add a mirror modifier to make the other eye show up, mirror modifier, you will notice that uh, the origin of the object is right here where that little dot is. So I need to move that little dot to the center of this fish. So what I'm going to do is select the the big uh, fish here, shift S, and then say cursor to selected. Now you can see that origin is right there. So now I'll select this guy and I'll do a search, which is on space, I use it all the time. Search for origin, and you'll see here we have set origin. So I'll set origin to uh, 3D cursor because that the 3D cursor is at the origin of the other fish. And you'll see instantly the eyeball lands in place. Now the origin is lined up there perfectly. Okay, what else do we got here? Uh, the reason I did the eyeball this way, um, instead of grabbing, you know, the end, oftentimes you'll see um, people, when they add a UV sphere, they kind of take the end already looks like a pupil, so you'll have that uh, facing out as kind of the pupil, but it actually takes a few few more polys. It's not, not too bad, but if we do it the way I did on this fish, you're going to save on your polygon budget. So anyway... Speaking of polygon budget, I'm at 410, double that, 820. Um, I'm still under my 1500 limit, so we're good there.